Here are uh, some of the basic math things to start off Algebra 2. You just got to know your basics, so don't. These are important to know. Um, you basically got to be able to add and subtract positive and negative integers. Very, very important. When you add or subtract positive and negative integers, here's one way of looking at it. You have two negatives, three positives. These kind of cancel out, leaving you one positive. When you have this, you have to rethink of this minus as adding a negative three, or a negative two and a negative three, which means I have two negatives plus three more negatives, thus I have five negatives altogether. If you have two minus three, again, you make that minus three as basically two plus a negative three, or two and a negative three. So two and three negatives, those positive negatives cancel, leaving you one negative. Basically, when you're adding and subtracting positive and negatives, make it a plus if it's a minus. And after you make it a plus, make sure you take the sign of whatever has most. You're basically finding the difference and putting the sign of what has most because there's more of them left over. Now, when you multiply right here, it's a completely different story. When you multiply, it's not what has the most that matters. It's just the type of signs. If one of them is negative, your answer is negative. If both of them are negative, the answer is positive. Again, if one of them are negative, your answer is negative. As simple as that. And division is the same properties. Division has the same properties as multiplication. If one of them is negative, your answer is negative. Now, a lot of people struggle with fractions. This is a quick overview on some fraction stuff. When you add fractions, keep the same denominator, just add the tops. Reduce. Also realize that 3 over 2 is the same as 1 and 1 half. When you subtract fractions, you have to get the same denominators. We do not have that. So I did top and bottom by 4 here, top and bottom by 3 here. Thus, I now have 12s on both bottoms. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 3 is 3. When you subtract the tops, you're done. You cannot reduce. Again, reduce if you can. Here, you don't have to change from here to here. A lot of you do. You don't have to unless it's a multiple choice question. Do the switch. I'm okay with this, as long as you reduce. For this one, when you divide, you flip and multiply. Again, when you divide fractions, you flip the second one, the 6 fifths, into a 5 sixths and multiply. And when you multiply, you multiply just straight across. 4 times 5, 20. 9 times 6, 54. Reduce. Basic fractions, you got to be okay with those. You have to be okay with exponents and understanding that 7 squared negative is negative 49, where negative 7 squared, which is negative 7 times negative 7, is positive 49. Very common mistake here. This negative right here means do it after you square. This means you're squaring negative 7. This one, when you're squaring a negative 2, or sorry, you're cubing a negative 2, that means you multiply it by itself three times which would be negative 8. And lastly, some decimals. When you add decimals, line up the decimals and just add straight down. 0 plus 1 is 1. This is 12, so you bring a little 1 up there. 2 goes here. And then 3, 2, 1, 6, and then the 1. That's your answer. Just bring the decimal straight down. When you multiply, you do not have to line up the decimal. Okay. Actually, this is a minus. Sorry. When you minus, you just minus straight down. 3 minus 1 is 1. I have two does not, you cannot subtract five from two, so you borrow from the one over here. You change this, uh, looks like three to a two, and you borrow, so that becomes a 12, which is seven. Now two, seven cannot subtract from two, so you have to borrow this one, make that a 12, so 12 minus seven is five, and zero is left over here. Realize when you minus that the answer and what you minus should add up to the top piece. But again, when you add and subtract, the line up the decimals. When you multiply, you don't have to worry about the decimal lineups. When you multiply these two, you just multiply. 3 times 7, 3 times 2, 3 times 1. Then you put a 0 or a placeholder. And then 2 times 7, 2 times 2, 2 times 1. And then you add straight down. But since there are three spaces to the right of the decimal, 1, 2, 3, you need to move the decimal three spaces back over. And lastly, when you divide, all you do is you divide by this, so you put it on the outside, this is what you're dividing. And since I have a decimal here, you move the decimal over because you can't have decimals out here. So you move it over once. 
Thus you move the decimal here over once and just bring it up. And then you do long division. 2 goes into 13 6 times. 12 minus 1, 1 left over. Bring the 5 down. 2 goes into 15 7 times. It's 14 minus 1 leaves 1. Bring the 0 down. 2 goes into, what is that, 10? Oh, tw um, 2 times 4 is 8, so that minus that gives you 2. And you can keep going. You really don't have to go that far most of the time. You could kind of stop after probably the first decimal, the tenth place. But uh, that would be your answer. Remember, you just move the decimal over here, move this over, then move it straight up. This is basic arithmetic that you need to be able to do very easily for this class.